Wise good people, right now we are at, um, I'm about to say body part, we are at the Arnold Expo. Uh, this is the Friday, so we got the fast pass, just getting kind of early and look around. Uh, right now, I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of spacious. Alright folks, we have to get Chris out here because Chris always comes. Always. He beat me here, I don't think I've ever got here before you. But I got it early. Anyways, right now we're walking around. I'm being completely honest, I'm not overly excited yet like I was last time, but we'll see. But overall, if you're used to coming to Body Power, even the Arnold last year, it's not in the same hall. We've moved it to one of the smaller ones. I check one two one two one two. What we're doing right now is we're standing in a queue. I never do this, but for you know what, Sam Solix here. I might as well. Might ask him a few questions, get a picture, get a thumbnail, and see how it goes. Hi guys, nice to meet you, man. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, that's good. What was your thoughts about YouTube when you blew up so rapidly? I, I feel so <laughs> spoiled like, because you got a. I mean, the first video is basically the same as the last video. Yeah. Just car workout. Flex in the mirror, car again, and occasionally, you know, eat some food on camera. But yeah. I, I love it. So when you first started doing it, considering that obviously your raw style, like the old style of YouTube back in the day, did you do that consciously, or you just kind of felt like I'm just gonna bring people along and it just kind of? Well, it was pretty much like that. But honestly, I think when people really try to get entertaining and like technical with the yeah. camera work and everything else you sort of lose track of the lift. Yeah. I mean, I feel kind of weird because I'm not like a, I'm not like an entertainer. Yeah. All I'm doing is like almost documenting what the workout is. So really it wasn't that much more work for me to just start yeah. recording it because it was already going to happen anyway. It does help that you're like a flipping freak. You're huge. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, but how long have you actually been training? Like completely? I've seen the videos from when you're like you were younger as well. So, yeah. how many years have it been now? It's been about five and a half years of like actual weights. Oh, okay. And then before then, it was more just like what athletics type yeah, stuff. Exactly. What gym are you like gonna be training with after here? A lot of people go to Emporium or yeah, we went to uh, we went to Dino's, but oh, okay. we'll probably be floating around all over. Uh, uh, it's good, yeah. man. The fresh new. The hairline, how you doing, man? Wiped up everything. Yeah, yeah, man, I thought it's super loud here, so I thought yeah, I might as well make it up. nostalgic as fuck. <laughs> I know, it's like old school times. When, was, when were we all linking up? 2018? Instagram, your in videos yeah, are really? funny. <laughs> as for the expo so far, I don't, I don't want to be too like hard on it. I can understand why it's probably downsizing each year, because like, it's not worth the money. But considering the price of like 40 pounds to come today, I don't know if it's worth 40 pounds. Back in the day, I'm sure body power tickets well, like twenty-seven pounds fifty. What do you think? It's your yeah, first expo you ever been to? Bare feet, these my trousers are falling down with all the stuff I got in my pocket. So I'm right? not gonna say what, but look over there. Yeah, there's worth it just for that. Yeah. What is it? So today it's dueling one v one, but it's full contact medieval combat. So the idea is hitting people as hard as you can with weapons. It's that heavy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
So technically we have lapped everywhere. I've lapped it at least once now. As you can see there are areas where it's literally still like a lot of space and there's in my opinion like stuff should be here like turn again here. It's a lot of space. Um, overall I guess the expo is what you make of it. If you come with some cool people you have some fun. The biggest store here is probably the, the young LA one. The parking, oh they moved up again. The 18 pounds. So if you come here catch a train because you don't want to pay 17 yeah. or 18 pounds of parking. Super super random. That's quite that's like unique. There's a lot more people and that's coming into the expo now. The bar is loaded at 187.5 kilos for Adam Fula. <laughs> Cameraman's getting them gains in. Alright, let's see. How did it feel? Not slippery, man. I probably sweat. Yeah. Then you gotta go gym rest of the weekend, then. I can feel it in my traps already. <laughs> oh, now, seconds in on the pain. <laughs> Ten seconds done. If you can clean it, you can keep it up there. <laughs> There it is, a little bit. How long's left? Only halfway. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel it slipping down my thighs. Pause. Yeah, it's going. Yeah, it's going. 40. Here it is, I have old man hands. My RSI, if I, if I grip too much, it's gonna hurt. I don't like it. It feels weird. Maybe if I try that one. Nah, nah. I know the re well, let me change it a little bit. Nah, you know what it is? Because the weight sidewards, there's not enough tension on your chest. So like, it feels a little bit better on your chest, whereas that standing one was a bit weird. Like, I can see some opportunity me actually like getting worked in that. Go on, Chris, 100 reps. CT Fletcher style, 100 reps. Jake. Jake. Yeah, <laughs> yes. How you find how you find the expo? First out in this one. Is it? Yeah, you yeah. into any of the body powers or anything? Oh, I've had body power years, but she's competing today the strong woman. Oh, okay. Oh. Have you been to one of these expos before then? Yeah, yeah, I've not competed in them before. A lot smaller, isn't it? This is a whole different hall and it's still spacious. So yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a little, I don't know. They planned it quite well, haven't they? So don't I think tomorrow will be busy because of people. But no new booths are going to come. Like we've walked around a couple of times and there's not that much yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah. Hey, can you put it on? Well, yeah, the, yeah, the, the, the guy get the logo in. Isn't it crazy how the body is like, how, the, how it's developed? Like this is bodybuilding back there when they're all like fairly in good shape for real men. Like they're very far in technically, that's natural. Because you're going back potentially before steroids were invented. Yeah. And then you can kind of see where it kind of kicked in. <laughs> and then it just gets like to this point where it's like mad. To be honest, I think that realm right here. Probably the best. Yeah, especially like Frank Zane. Yeah. Everyone always talks about his aesthetic. I think Lee Haney is like the max. Take it back up. Back on the knees, Harrison. 
Oh, we smoked it. I'll have a try. Drop the brownies. Do you mind if we um, do a taste test on the camera? So, Chris, this is our skinny food coach, Drop the brownie protein bar. I'd love to know what you think. Take a bite. <laughs> Oh my god, we did not pay him to say that. <laughs> For a review like that, I think he deserves at least a free bar. A full bar at that, to be honest. That's for you. Thank you very much. Wingman. Hey, I just want to say hi, man. I've watched your channel for a good while. Yeah, I've reacted to some of your content, some good, some bad. Sometimes you're a bit blunt with people. That's how I do it. Overall, though, I think your content is like dope, man. Like, Thank I, like you. The, I like the overall message, you know what I mean? Especially lately, you're getting like a outside of fitness sometimes as well. Yeah, I like and to whatnot. cover every aspect. I'm not just fitness. I mean, I like working out, but I'm also you know, a normal person that talks about other stuff. So. Damn, you are, you are vascular. Thank you. I think I did it right. <laughs> he is lean. I didn't see the forearm until I you said it. He's not even flexing. Folks, so for the most part, we have walked around now about three times. We've kind of seen everything that they have to manage. We're just walking around, getting freebies from the same stand. Uh, I think I did, oh, I just bumped into obviously Greg Doucette with his new girlfriend. But he is lean and vascular. Um, but yeah, overall, I think we've kind of done most of the expo. I don't know what else we're really going to do. Maybe one more lap to get my friend as much freebies as possible, because Chris loves freebies. But if you haven't been to an expo before, I'd definitely say come, because everyone that's never been to one before, that's actually I've bumped into here, has said that they're enjoying it. Whereas people that have been to previous expos, like Body Power, or even Lash Arnold here, more or less said there was a little bit more stuff to do. But overall, um, it is what you make of it. Appearances all over the world. I have a uh, documentary that's on uh, Netflix. Well, it was on Netflix, but now it's on uh, Amazon. It's it just so many things that you can do with social media. By the way, People that are looking for freebies, Chris got loads, still a weighty, weighty bag. But I can't believe he's got, to be fair, I've given him all my freebies too. But this is a lot, it feels like 15 kg. Alright people, we are calling it a day. We have been here. It's 2 o'clock now. We got here. I got here about 9.30. You got here at 9. Actually, anyone that's coming for freebies, he's the guy. But the question is, do you think you got £40 off of freebies? No, not £40. Bro. And he also spent £8 on traders. <laughs> so he's in a deficit. <laughs> but they are nice traders. The overall, what would you, what's your thoughts of the Expo? I'm more lenient this year. But... I think it was, a, it was a decent Expo for what it was, but generally, there just wasn't enough stands. There wasn't enough, yeah. there was too much open space to walk around without nothing to do. And not enough, yeah, just not enough activities. So for that reason, yeah. it wasn't very low par and average. Yeah, like more people definitely came from I think about 12 o'clock. So it's more full up. Uh, like all the empty space isn't as empty, but there is still not that stuff for them to actually do. Literally, if we wasn't purposely trying to get as much freebies for Chris and catching up as well, because yeah, we don't see each other that often. So when yeah. we catch up, we're actually using up time. Yeah. We would have probably done like one or two laps. Dipped, yeah, dipped, yeah, and that would have been literally 40 minutes. Cause it ain't that big. Yeah. It is what it is. I think that I, I now see that it's not. It's not truly the Xbox fault. It's the fact that it's just not the demand anymore. You know, what I mean, it costs a lot of money to run this type of stuff, so you can't expect them to just be losing money doing the big, 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 big. Yeah. But it is what it is, man. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm gonna go home, edit this. Hopefully, get up for you guys for the Friday. And if you guys come, let me know what you guys thought about.